guys! So over the past week, I've been working on revamping my doppelganger project to make it both a lot prettier but more importantly easier to use. And as you can see here, it's now hosted online for you all to try out. You can either pick from the sample images or upload your own to find your own doppelganger. After you do that, you can download the image for yourself and if you'd like, you can share it with your friends. But first, let's take a few steps back to see how I got to this result. I started this project a few weeks ago and while it worked, it was really hard to use. You'd have to clone my GitHub repo, unzip this multi-gigabyte directory of training images, drag and drop your own image and test it out on the command line. So there must be a simpler way. So I went back to the drawing board. The drawing board being my notion board from the last video. I completed all the P1s, so time to move on to the P2s. First, we want to create a simple site using HTML. Barring from some of my previous projects, I made a pretty simple framework of Jinja templates, including one for the homepage and one for the page where you would see the result. On the homepage, I know we want to have a file upload area for when you upload your picture. But if someone doesn't have a picture ready, it would be nice to have a few sample pictures for them to choose from. I have that set up here where the image is actually serving as a clickable button on a form. Let's also add some instructions on the homepage to make it more user friendly. And then on the results page, we'll keep the same file upload area, but instead of showing the sample images, we'll show the user's image and their matching celebrity's image side by side. You can see that there are these little squiggly brackets, which means that the name of the file is being passed from the Flask app, which we'll look into in a second. Let's also add a button to download the image, and with that, we're pretty much done. Okay, now that the basic site is done, I'll move on to making the Flask app. To do this, I essentially want to shift all the logic where the app is actually run from the command line interface in the old driver svm.py to this new Flask app app.py. So on the Flask app, we'll start by directing the user to the home.html site if they're just coming to the site for the first time. If they submit the form and upload a picture, then we'll first generate a unique ID for that user, and then we'll try to open the image that they've uploaded or the default image that they've chosen from the home page. After that, we basically copy and pasted all of that logic from the command line interface into the Flask app to generate the result. And then we're going to link all of those images that we have in the result to the template that we're going to pass into the result.html page. And with that, the Flask app is pretty much done. Now, this is all great, but this project should still be accessible to someone without having to clone into this repo. To do this, I'll actually have to host the project on Heroku. And I'm not super familiar with Heroku, so I followed this online tutorial and it was pretty easy to follow. Basically, they tell you to create the Flask app and then create a Heroku account, link it to GitHub and test it. And so if I just go to my Heroku account, I've done all of those steps and we can see after opening the app, after way too many seconds of waiting, it actually loads. And that's how we got it up on the server for everyone to use. Most importantly, we now want to test this out. As you can see, I've run this nearly 400 times, and in the holiday spirit, let's test out some popular figures from Christmas movies and music. We've got the kid from Home Alone, the guy from Elf, we've got Michael Bublé, the guy who sings all the Christmas songs, we've got the kid from A Christmas Story, and finally, we've got a very young Santa Claus because my app was not able to match Santa Claus is with very heavy beards. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video and actually try this project out for yourself. And I wish you guys a very happy holiday season and I'll talk to you next time.